Buenas noches, teacher. Here. Very good. Good evening, people. Good evening. Welcome one more time to your class of beginner three. This is English Corporativo, and I am your teacher, Saul Montoya. It is good to be here again. Let's get it started then tonight. Okay. This 
Okay, last night we studied uh, how to give and get directions. Okay. Okay. Directions is instructions. Okay, instructions. And we have two forms to ask for directions. One is um, how do I get to, for example, how do I get to Rockefeller Center? And how can I get to, how can I get to Ryan Park? And to respond, we can use this vocabulary. Walk up or go up. Fifth Avenue, turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. Or walk down or go down Fifth Avenue, turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Okay, this is the language we can use to ask directions and give directions. So I gave you a map last night to practice this vocabulary. This map here, and I also gave you some instructions, some directions that you had to follow to decide where you get, okay? Uh, for example, the first one is go down, and let's, let me go to the map to check that. I gave you the departure point and some instructions to follow. Um, for example, here, uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. The first set of instructions is I am in the park. So I am here. This is the departure point. Um, and it says go down on Second Avenue. Okay, go down on Second Avenue. Turn left on Clark Street. So go down on Second Avenue here. Turn left on Clark Street here. It's on the right on the corner of Fleet Street and Clark Street. Here. Uh, no, me pasa, me pasa. Here. Okay, it's on the right in the corner of Clark Street and Fleet Street. So it's on the right here, the parking lot. So the answer for number one is the parking lot. What about number two? Do you follow the directions? Um, Winston Department Store. You said? Western Department Store. Let me see. Chanana. I just read. Uh oh, I don't think so. Let's follow the directions because you are at the police station. I am at the police station. Maybe uh, is 
Where is the police station? Here. Right. Okay. Police station is here. Let's see. Uh, I have the Horizon High School. No. No, three. I get to to park or the can canning library. The first instruction says walk down Clark Street. Walk down Clark Street. And to here. Right on Second Avenue. Turn right on Second Avenue. Here. Turn right on Second Avenue. And to right on Kansas Street. Turn right on Kensington Street. Turn right. Right. It's on the right. Uh, it's a computer. Uh, on the right. You see? Mm, I get to computer. Computers unlimited. Ah, I'm sorry. Sí, okay. yo nada más la de la high school estaba viendo. Lo siento. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. So number two is computers unlimited. Number three. You are at Horizons High School. Here. Is it a request on the department Okay. Walk down Third Avenue. Walk down Third Avenue. Turn right on Kensington Street. Here. Turn left on Second Avenue. Here. It is on the left. Across from Meals by Max. It's on the left. Uh -huh. Across from Meals by Max. Mm -hmm. Weston's West department. department store. Okay. Very okay. good. So, the, and the last one was I am at, where is the hospital? Bethune. Across the park. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Bethune Hospital. And the question is, how do I get to Provincial Bank? Where is Provincial Bank? Here. Uh, Crawl from police station. Uh -huh. Okay. What is the first instruction? Let me erase this. Well, down. Second uh -huh. Avenue. Walk down on Second Avenue. Uh -huh. Then? Turn left on Clark Street. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. On Clark Street. Clark, on Clark Street. Street. Oh, on Clark Street. Okay. okay. Hay varias maneras de llegar. No hay problema. Turn left on Clark Street. Uh huh. Two, two, it's two. on the left, across from police station. It's on the left, across from police station. Okay. Very good. Another another route? Yes. Uh, go down Second Avenue. Go down Second Avenue. To left, to left on Kensington Street. Turn left on Kensington Street. To right, Third Avenue. Turn right on Third Avenue. Oh, okay. Turn left on Clark Street. Turn left on Clark Street. It's from it's on the left. station. It's on the left. Across from police station. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Very good. Any question with this? No. No. Okay. Then we have a, 
a reading article here about New York. Fifth Avenue in New York. Okay, let me play that um, video for you because we need to, 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 to practice the... Oh. Oh, okay, give me a second here because I have to play the video. Section three. No, we are in yeah, section three. Here. I woke up Fifth Avenue. Okay, this one. Okay, I'm going to play the video. So pay attention and then we're going to, I'm gonna give you some questions about the reading. Okay, I'm going to mute you for a moment. Let me show. You'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue, between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. 4. Right across from Rockefeller Center on 5th Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Okay, here we have the, the reading. <laughs> now I have this question for you. Yesterday I put the, the picture of the reading in WhatsApp. Okay, so you have the picture of the reading in WhatsApp. So what I want you to do, I'm going to put you in, in pairs, okay, with the reading, you are going to respond these questions, all right? Okay. So in pairs, complete that, this exercise. Well, actually, I'm gonna think. Okay. Respond to questions according to the reading, please.
Buenas noches, teacher. Hello. Hay cuatro, cuarenta y nueve, treinta y siete, seis, cinco. Um, hello, teacher. Okay, my microphone was off. Uh, buenas noches, teacher. Hola. Eh, quisiera saber si me podría agregar al grupo de WhatsApp porque tengo un poco de de clases retrasadas en las que sí no puedo asistir, pero quisiera ponerme al día con lo que es el material. Ok. Porque desde el principio, bueno, aquí escribí y no me agregaron, así que quisiera saber si me pueden agregar. ¿Y tienes acceso a tu, a tu correo de, de invitación a la clase? Así es. Pero o ahí en el correo parecía porque si al inicio de la clase usted dijo de que uh -huh. el correo en el cual nos hicieron la invitación decía cuál era el, bueno el link para agregarnos al grupo pero no, uh -huh. no me apareció a mí vaya déjame ver si encuentro sustancia Sí, porque ahí, ahí tiene que ser, porque yo no, no te puedo agregar, no soy yo el administrador. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya. Dame tu WhatsApp para agregarte y mandarte el link. 7449. Uh -huh. 3765. 65. Y tú eres Mario. Mario. Así es. Tira el WhatsApp. En serio. 74, 49, 30. 37, 6, 5. Sí. Mira. No me aparece. Sí, ese. Pero no me aparece. ¿Estás conectado al WhatsApp ahorita? Sí, ahorita estoy conectado. Aquí está. Ahí te va el link para el WhatsApp. ¿Ya te digo? Ok. Perfecto. Ahorita me cayó. Ok. Prueba. ¿Quién más está aquí? Eh, yo entré okay. tarde porque tuve un reto. 
retraso. Entonces, ahorita estoy trabajando sola. Vaya, lo voy a añadir a un grupo. Ok, gracias. Y a Mario también, ok. No, la siguiente es, where is Brian Park? Brian Park is behind the library. Yes. If you need your public library. Yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería Brian. Última. <coughs> Calle a la segunda. Ah, y dice, calle poniente. La cuatro es Where is Brian Park? Ah, pero ahí mismo dice nada. Mira, a ver. Between the library is Brian Park in the summer. There is an outdoor coffee. Café dice. And it looks out. There are different music concerts. O sea que, where is in the Brian Park? The Brian Park is on, it's on the Bejín, que es enfrente. Bejín. Bejín. In the summer, the um, outdoor cafe and the lunch or the Behind is atrás. Uh, ah, behind. Gracias. Yeah, atrás. Behind. O sea, que dice que está atrás. Entonces sería la respuesta. El de Brian Park is behind.
Did you finish, guys? No. 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 Not yet. Not yet. Ah, okay. Too silent. Okay. Too much uh, silence. The fourth one is where is Brian, Brian Park. Park. Brian, Brian Park. Park. Okay. Brian Park. Vamos a ver. Brian Park is the, in the second. En la dos también. Sí, in the second sí, paragraph. Okay. Yes. In the summer there is an outdoor cafe. Um, okay. Uh, later. Free. What is a crossroad? What is a crossroad? A crossroad. Rockefeller Center. <laughs> yes, the answer is in number four, right? A crossroad, Rockefeller Center, on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. The answer. Hmm. The answer is is Saint Patrick's Cathedral. Uh -huh. What is? Uh -huh. I guess I don't know. What is a crossroad for the Taylor Center? Saint Patrick's Hello, teacher. Sí. Hello. We are practicing. Mm -hmm. Finish? Yes, I think so. Okay, very good. Okay, see you later. See you. Okay, welcome back, people. <coughs> Hi. Where's the rest? Okay, I hear. <coughs> Who 
whose dog is that? <laughs> Okay, let's let's check together. Where is the Empire State Building? It's at Fifty Avenue, thirty-three, and twenty-four Street. Okay, very good. On Fifth Avenue, between thirty-third and thirty-fourth. Excellent. The next question is, how do I get from Rockefeller Center to Rockefeller Plaza? Look right on 49th Street, walk another block and turn left. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Where is the entrance of New York Public Library? Now the entrance will be between 40 and 42nd Street. Okay, yes. Where is Bryant Park? It's on the 6th Avenue, in the corner of the 6th. Mm. Brian Park is behind the library. Yes, behind the library. Behind the library. And uh, what is across from Rockefeller Center? Cathedral. Cathedral. St. Patrick's Cathedral. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Okay, so we practiced uh, uh, asking and giving directions. Now, with this, we finish unit three of section three. And now we have to continue with section four. Okay. Let me move to section four. Remember, in this, in section three, you have a, a midterm exam. Okay, so please complete the exercises and the exam. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay the next session, we're going to start talking about things people hate to do. Things people hate to do. Let's wait for the video. Here it comes. Okay, you're going to watch this short video about this vocabulary related to things people hate to do. I'm gonna mute your microphones for a moment to watch the video. Here. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. Stand in line. 2. Do laundry. 3. Travel to work. 4. Go to meetings. 5. Exercise. 6. Work in the yard. 7. Clean the house. 8. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. 
After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, this is the vocabulary about things people hate to do. Uh, let's practice it. I don't know, I'm here. Okay, repeat after me. Stand in line. Stand in line. Mm -hmm. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do laundry. Travel to work. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Exercise. Exercise. Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Clean the house. Clean the house. Open, open the mail. Open the mail. Okay. Um, so which of these activities do you hate to do? Travel to work. Travel to work. Yeah, travel to work is terrible, huh? You go by bus, oh my, that's terrible. Okay, let's make some sentences with this, for example, I hate to stand in line. Repeat, please. I hate to stand in line. I hate to stand in line. Yeah, when you go to the bank and there are uh, only two cashiers attending. Yeah, I'm terrible. A long line. Uh, I hate to do the laundry. I hate to travel to work. I hate to go to meetings. I hate to go to meetings. I hate to exercise. I hate to exercise. I hate to work in the yard. I hate to clean the house. I hate to open the mail. What other activities do you hate to do? Let's make a, a, a list. I hate to wash my car. Aha, wash the car, okay. Uh huh. What else? I hate to take a bus. Okay, to take a bus. I hate it. Uh -huh. I, hate, I hate cook the dinner. <laughs> I hate to cook the dinner. Okay. Sorry? I hate to iron my clothes. Uh huh, iron. Iron my clothes, okay. What about wash the dishes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So, but they're necessary. We don't like them, but they are necessary. Okay, let's take a look to this conversation. But first, tell me, what do you see in the picture? Where, where are these, these guys? What are they doing? Sorry? Mm -hmm. Okay, an exam, a test. Uh -huh. Two classmates. Two classmates, okay. Um... How do they look? Do they look happy or? They look uh, worried. Worried. Ah, okay. I look watching television. 
So, okay. What else? You see the picture. That's it. The boy is preoccupied for the exam. Yeah, the boy looks preoccupied for the exam. But the girls, uh, the girl is happy for, for the ah. situation of the of the partner. Okay. He's happy. He's worried. <laughs> yeah, she's happy. Oh, she's the, she's the confident. Partner, the partner with the eyes sending a help me. Yeah, help me, help me. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Let's see, we have this conversation to to practice. Okay, let's play the video to practice this conversation. No time is it by the way. Okay, we have time. It's recorded tonight. <laughs> Who's leaving? <laughs> okay, I'm going to mute your microphones to watch the video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no! Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study. Studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. Stay. Stayed. S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop. Shopped. S-H-O-P-P-E-D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past 
by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Okay. So we we started here the, how to form simple past statements, okay? You, you saw the video, you saw that affirmative statement. We only change the verb from present into past, okay? Make an affirmative sentence in past. We only change the verb from present to past. I study, I studied. You watch television, you watch television. You stay home, she stayed home. We shop for groceries, we shopped for groceries. The exercise Saturday, they exercised on Saturday. And for the negative sentences, we only add didn't. 
Okay. Didn't, which is the contraction for did not. And if you see the verb is in the base form. The verb is no longer in past because we are using didn't. Okay? And these are regular verbs. We are studying here regular verbs because we only add, most cases we only add ed. In this case, we only add d. In this case, <coughs> we changed the y for i. Okay, the uh, y became i. Here. Stay, we only add the d. Shop, we double the consonant and add it inside. These are regular verbs. Any questions so far? No. No, very good. You are excellent. Okay. And I want to show you here one more time, some more examples of affirmative negative. Okay, you have this in, in your WhatsApp. I worked, I didn't work. You worked, you didn't work. Okay? It's very simple. Spanish is more complicated here. English, as you see, is only one form. Worked, 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 worked. Spanish is very complicated. Yo trabajé, tú trabajaste, él trabajó, ella trabajó, nosotros trabajamos, okay? More complicated. English worked. That's it. Okay? The same in, in, in negative. Didn't and the verb. Simple. Okay, so I, I'm gonna, I think I put this in WhatsApp also, so you can complete this exercise. Yes, okay, the idea is to use, you use the verb, these are regular verbs only, to make sentences. You were planned. Mm -hmm. In this case, for example. You weathered the plant. You, uh-huh, water, water, water. You watered the plants. Okay. So it is time to finish today. Then that would be your homework. We'll check this first time tomorrow at class. Okay. Any question with the exercise? No? No. No. Okay, people. See you tomorrow then. Have a good night. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. And remember Good night. to complete also to complete the platform exercises. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.